Welcome back to the channel everyone, Cast Clips here. We are back on Legend of Lagaya. Um, so I wanted to talk about the uh, vendor right here real quick. Um, I did look it up, I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't care about the test that Noah gave us in the last one, but I was curious about this because I could have sworn that you could have answered something differently and it would have resulted differently. I did look it up. So when you, um, we ended up buying the, what is this called? The fighting robe? for 1100 1100 guys that is ridiculous you can actually get that item for free so if you guys remember in the last episode when noah came down here and we were talking with her and she tried running off with the robe and the guy's like hey wait you got to pay for it and then she asked us what money was if you actually pick the option that you don't know what money is the vendor will actually kind of have pity for you he'll kind of laugh it off or whatever he will actually give you that fighting robe completely free guys so if you guys want to save 1100 gold, that's how you can get that fighting robe completely for free. Um, something else that I want to point out, if we go inside, um, I will actually see you guys when I'm back at the throne room. Just keep going straight up until you get to, actually, no, well, I'll just, I'll show you guys how to get there just in case uh, anyone gets lost. So basically you just keep going straight up. There'll be a point where you come to the, uh, the part where you'll go to the mountain. Instead of going to the mountain, you're going to go either right or left, doesn't matter. This part right here, you're actually going to go right or left, doesn't matter which way. Circle back around and you're going to go into this middle door here. This leads you into the throne room where the king is. Keep in mind you can do this before. I did not do it, that's why I'm showing you guys now. But if you come up in this left room here, there's no chests or anything. But up on this little windowsill right here, there's actually an item. I already picked it up, but I promise you it is there, guys. So the item is actually this here. Um, it is this platinum card. So it says buy secret items at special locations. I don't think I've ever known about that item before. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I found that. And then um, there are at least five secret items that I've already found that you can buy. None of them are here at Drake Gas. I already talked to the vendors and everything here. There's none here. Um, they actually do stand out because I was a little worried like, oh, well, how am I going to know what the secret items are? Um, so I will actually point that out. We're actually going to go to the hunter springs and i will see you guys when i get there all right guys so here we are right outside the hunter springs let's go ahead and go in here and we are looking for the um lazam guy um if you guys remember correctly in the last one as well he is now a vendor so if we come and talk with him um you can see here he has two items that are highlighted in like a teal looking color those are the hidden items that you actually have access to with the platinum card um, so if we hit buy, you can see we can't afford them, but check out what they do, guys. Increases allies' rate of attacking first for the golden compass. The silver compass decreases the rate of being ambushed by the enemy. So I personally wouldn't have use of those. I'm not too worried about it. The golden compass might come in handy, but I think there's actually better items out there that will help out um, way more than that golden compass. So I'm not really worried about it. So that is the first part there, um, and then we can actually go to Rim Elm, because Rim Elm actually has hidden items uh, that you can buy there too. So let's go there, and I will show you guys once we get there. Alright guys, so here we are outside of Rim Elm, let's go ahead and go inside. And I will say this, I did come back here and talk with them, um, even though I said I wasn't going to. I did come back here and talk with them just because I wanted to find out about the hidden items. So if you actually come in here, in this building here, you talk with Meg, she'll... Um, Basically, Noah will introduce herself to her and uh, they'll kind of get along there. And then also, if you come down here, you talk with Tetsu right here. Um, he will actually talk with Noah for you and he will actually help her learn a new skill. Um, it's one that I did not have yet. So if you guys were able to figure it out on your own by just typing in whatever, then hey, more power to you. But if not, if we look at Noah here. Um, you can see here the last one that we learned was a swan diver by using that book. The one that he taught us is actually the one of the lower ones. It's called the Acrobatic Blitz. So we do have um, another attack for her now. We haven't used it yet, um, but that is available to her. So just keep that in mind. And then if you guys want to try it, you can go and talk with this tree again. And um, you can fight the bees. We're still not going to do that. I don't think we're strong enough. Those bees are very powerful. But anyway, if you come in the shop here, this is the only shop in town. Um, real quick, up here... This is what I was talking about before. This is not something that's new. Um, I mentioned it like two videos ago. This here is where I got the point card from. It does say that you have to clear out the mist. Once the mist is cleared, that's when you can actually get it. So clear out the mist, come to that drawer there. That's how you can get the point card. 
But with the platinum card that we got at Drake's Castle, if we come here, we talk with this little guy here behind the counter. You can see here he has three different items for you. So the Hunter clothes, it looks like it's only for Van. Um, I guess that's if you missed it with May somehow. I, I don't really know. I'm not sure if the third guy can use those Hunter clothes. Um, but definitely some you guys might want to take a look at. And then we have a Scarlet Jewel and an Azure Jewel. Looks like the Scarlet Jewel increases upper defense by 20%. And then the Azure Jewel increases lower defense by 20%. So it doesn't say that it can only be equipped by certain people, which I'm assuming that means everyone can use it because if you look at something like the survival knife, you can see that it says it's best for van and then it says slash all. That means that it's probably the best item for van, but all people, like all the people in your party can use it. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, those are the three items there. <clears throat> and then now in the next one, we will go ahead and go to Byron Monastery. I do think that we're going to do a little bit of um, grinding there. So I'm actually going to bring you guys to Byron Monastery right now. Um, and I want to see if there is a, a good grinding spot. So just like, um, I mean, I guess I didn't really show you guys. We basically, the last time we did some grinding, we stayed outside of the Hunter, Hunter Springs. And I'm not going to fight these guys. We're just going to run. But we, we stayed outside of the um, the Hunter Springs and we basically, we would attack something um, so that we weren't using that many like uh, healing leaves or anything like that. We would attack things. Once our health got low, we ran into the Hunter Springs, drank the, uh, the water there. I think there's a way to do it at the Byron Monastery up here because as you guys seen, there is mist inside the Byron Monastery. So I don't think it covers the entire Byron Monastery. I think there's a door that's kind of sealed up in there. Um, but we're going to go inside the Byron Monastery. We're going to see if we can find that spot. If we do find that spot, that's probably where we'll end the video. Um, just so I could show you guys how the grinding works, or at least how I do my grinding. Uh, kiss of death. So the Kiss of Death paralyzes you if it actually procs, which doesn't look like it did. So we're good there, and we did successfully run away. <clears throat> so um, if... Uh, with the Byron Monastery, if um, if there is a spot there, I'll show you guys how the grinding works, or at least how I do it. Basically, you go out, you do your grinding, you run back into a spot where you get free health and uh, MP, and then you go back out and you do it all over again. So this is Byron Monastery here. We're gonna go straight up. Normally, we can turn on these fans, which actually I think we have to. Yeah, so there's a large button on the door. Do you wish to press it? Yes. Fan presses a button. We're just kind of ringing the doorbell so it says, who's there? If a human say something now. Yes, I don't believe it. A human customer. Uh, all right, then move the lever that's right by you. Uh, the mist inside the airtight chamber will disappear and this door will open automatically. The lever by your back activates the device that gets rid of the mist in the airtight chamber. So before we do that, we're going to see if we can fight something in here because I want to see if I can get a Gimmert or a Vera for either one of um, Meta or Terra real quick. I don't know if it'll let us fight anything in these rooms. I don't think so. I would think it would have already triggered by now. Okay, I guess not. So let's go ahead and pull the lever. There it goes, and then we can go in here. As you can see, Byron Monastery is untouched by the mist because it was uh, sealed up. It says, I'm so glad you came. It's been a long time since Byron Monastery has had any real human visitors. I never thought anyone would come here um, while I was guarding the gate. I'm, you really surprised me. <clears throat> Wait, they're in the middle of training. When it's over, I'll introduce you to Master Zupo. And the guy there in the blue on the left, that is going to be our third guy there. Zupo, stop right there. Good. We seem to have visitors. What a rare treat. That's enough training for now. You may attend your individual tasks to your individual tasks. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, well, welcome to Byron Monastery. Now then, let me get a good look at you. I am Noah. With me here is Van. Good to meet you, old man. Master Teacher, how dare you call Zopu, Master Zopu, old man? 
Ha ha ha, this young lady means no ill will. Master Teacher, stand aside. Master Teacher, yes sir. I see, Van and Noah. How do you do? I am Zopu. Hmm, your eyes are keen, and you have Saru. Alright then, we welcome you here. Tonight we shall have a party in your honor. Until then, you may make yourselves at home inside the monastery. Sanji. Those things on your arms, are those Saru? Yes. Technically they are. So that's a Saru. I hear they give the, their wearer great strength. That's right. Ha ha ha. I want one of those Saru. Now keep in mind, this is one of the monks in the um, in the monastery. They are forbidden to use Saru um, according to their teachings. I am Sanji. Pleased to meet you. If you have an extra Saru, then let me have it. Ha 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 ha. What a weirdo. Okay, and then we'll run around here. Um, I don't think that any of these people will give you anything. I'm not going to read what they're saying. Um, unless it's like actually a question or something. But I don't think that there's any questions that they have for you. Okay, let's go up in here. Van. Oh wait, Van? Is that you, Van? May's mother. Van? Is that you, Van? Don't you remember me? Uh, Maya? That's right. I'm Maya from Rim Elm, Van. Good memory, or what a good memory. I'm impressed. You were still so young when I left the village. When Master Zopu told me a youth called Van had come, I hurried here. I knew it was you. I knew right away. You looked just like Val when, I, when he was young. I'm so happy. Because of the mist, I thought I would never see anyone from Rim Elm again. You two are amazing. You must have had a hard time getting here. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm so sorry, but Master Zopu asked me to help with the preparations for the party. I have to go now. There are so many things I want to ask you about, but that's... Or sorry, but that will have to wait till tonight. I want you to tell me about yourself and about your village. Bye for now. I'll see you later. So that's Maya, the one you've been looking for. Hmm, what energy she has. I couldn't get a word in. But I'm so glad I finally met her. So glad she's well. Where did the two of you come from? Rim Elm. I mean, technically we came from the Snowdrift Cave. Uh, we'll do Rim Elm. Uh, from Rim Elm, Tetsu, a fellow discipline disciple, sorry, lives there. Is he well? Yes, he is, but okay. Um, let's do the Snowdrift Cave. Snowdrift Cave. Before the Saru of the monks, Byron were all over the world and sent back much information, but I have never heard of Snowdrift Cave before. Please excuse my ignorance. You're excused, good sir. You are excused. Van now has a power elixir. Awesome. I didn't even think there would be anything here. I was just trying to click there because I saw the little red gem thing there. I don't know if that was anything. <clears throat> so let's go up here. Yes, sir. If you're looking for Maya, I believe she's in this room. But this room is a woman's bedroom. Men are forbidden. You may not enter. Oh, you're horrible. What are you looking at? I'm a woman. I'm a woman, so I can go in. If you don't mind, Noah, but Van will have to wait here. Or sorry, I think it said I don't mind you, Noah, but whatever. Anyway, okay, I'm going to talk to Maya. Silence, 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 silence. Um, It sounds pretty lively in there. I can hear a lot of laughter. Maya is very loving and hardworking. She's such a cheerful person. The monks of Byron think of her like a mother. The Byron Monastery doesn't allow Saru or women. I guess the miss has changed that rule. Sorry guys, I had to cough. 
Um, I like Maya too. She's a good person. Hey, is something wrong? Um, did you tell her about Juno or May? No, because she don't technically know about Juno or May. I mean, she met May, but I don't think she knows about Juno, so I'm just going to say no. I'm happy for you. Yeah, I heard a lot of stories from Maya, um, but right now Maya is too busy preparing for the party. She sends you her regards. Okay, cool. Okay, and then talk with you. Yes, sir. Byron Monastery, blah, blah. Talk with you. Are you looking for Maya? No, we already found her. Well, then why don't you go to the kitchen? I believe there are people selling things there, too. And if you're tired, uh, you may sleep in the back bedroom on the left. Uh, that as you face that way. What? Don't tell anyone I said this, but Master Teacher is the strongest here. Sanji is number two. Well, that's the rumor anyway. Okay. Okay. And then that would... The stairs would take us back down. Let's check all of the uh, rooms here real quick. This is bedroom. Tired. You can retire. No. We're good for, this, for the moment. We're going to look in here. These are the Sutra Books of Byron. Can't do anything with them. Okay. Let's check the middle room here. Looks like there's food up in here. Yes, sir. This is the dining room. Uh, we took shelter in here when the mist stacked. This is where the shops are. I hear that tonight there will be a party uh, to welcome you. I'm going to use all my skills to cook up a feast for you. Cool. Uh, well, this place is full of good people, but sometimes I hate having to say yes, sir, and yes, ma'am all the time. I thought they said there was no women here. I mean, I understand Maya because she got stuck here, but there's clearly other women here as well. Uh, you may not give this much thought, but Sanji resents Master Teacher very much. Master Zoku and Maya are very distressed by this, too. Okay. Uh, items for sale. Let's take a look. See if he has any hidden items. He does. So we have Healing Berry for 400. We have the Healing Bloom for 6. Magic Leaf. There's also Earth Jewel, which increases defense against Earth Powers. Deep Sea Jewel, which increases defense against Water Powers. The Burning Jewel increases defense against Fire Powers. And the Tempest Jewel, which probably increases uh, defense against Wind. Haha. -ha. And then we have our normal stuff there. Let's come and look at the cupboard. And then this vendor, which is weapons. So it says this is best for Noah, but right now I'm assuming the knife that she has is probably doing her probably about the same because it doesn't show an increase for the nail glove for her. Uh, word boots, garden club, nothing else. Okay. Okay, so we'll run out of here. Um, let's go ahead and save it just to be on the safe side real quick. I do think that things change when we go to sleep. So we're not going to sleep. At least not yet. Oops. Yes. Okay. And we'll run out of here. We'll go through one of these ones. This is where we're going to meet um, the Master Teacher and Sanji again, if I'm not mistaken. Here's Master Teacher. Uh, what on earth could Master Zopu be thinking uh, to last through like you onto the Sacred Soil of Byron? Master Zopu's room, go on in. Before we go in there, let's go talk with Sanji. Uh, the old-fashioned teachings of Byron may forbid the wearing of the Saru, but if I can become stronger quickly, then you better believe I'm going to wear one. Sounds like Vegeta. Uh, if you see an extra Saru, then let me know in secret. When I get one, then watch out, Master Teacher. Ha 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 ha. This door... Okay, so that door goes into the West Falls Forest, but they won't let us through without the uh, approval from Master Zopu. Probably same here with a different area. Yep, East Forest. Okay, so let's go talk with the Master real quick. 
And there's an extra person in here. Who are you? Kin. Master teacher's parents were both killed by Saru monsters. Ah, that's why he doesn't like them. Um, ever since then, he has hated the Saru. Didn't they say something about Kin um, at the other place, at the Drake place, uh, Drake Castle? Uh, you said your name was Van and Noah, right? Did you listen to what the people of Byron had to say? Yes. I see. Well then, before the party begins, uh, tell me what you heard. Tell me what you heard about Saru and about the mist. So that's what happened. Juno. Oh, I guess we told her about her dead husband. Killed by Saru. Still silent. So, Ben, you came all this way for May's sake. Maya, don't cry. Cheer up. It's not like you to cry like that. That's sweet of you to try to cheer me up still. It's also frustrating that I couldn't be by Juno's side. I loved him so. <clears throat> all along, I thought I would see him again someday and now it's too late i'm so sad i'm so sorry or i'm sorry van i'm sorry no i'm sorry for crying like this maya come to rim elm with us may is there i'm sorry no i just want to be alone i think or sorry i need time alone to think i'm i'm sorry but that's kind of rude like your daughter's still there even though your husband just died and you're like ah let me think about it When Maya's sad, it makes me sad too. Sad and lonely, Van. Okay. Alright, now eventually I think something triggers while we're in here since we didn't sleep. Um, those are Saru and your arms, aren't they? Let's say no, because technically they're raw Saru. Um, and Saru killed his parents, so we're going to say no. We're trying to be uh, a little sympathetic here. What? Not Saru, but raw Saru? Don't be foolish, a Saru is a Saru. I don't like it. I despise those creatures and those who depend on them. Okay, well, we tried. Um, Sanji, another main character. Let's talk with him. A Saru that's not affected by the mist. What I wouldn't do for one. They say that a raw Saru sleeps inside something called the Genesis Tree. Uh, with a Saru like that, I'd show Master Teacher who's really bossed. Ha ha ha. Anyway, don't mind me. Oh, and here comes the main guy. Probably because we talked with everyone that we needed to. Where'd Maya go? Can we not leave yet? It's night time, can't let you pass. Okay. Master Teacher, or Zopu. I just saw Maya walking around crying. Um, you didn't tell me before, but I want to be. I want you to be honest with me now. Van, Noah, you two came here to take Maya back to Rim, Rim Elm, am I right? Uh... I mean, not like by force, but yeah, I guess, yeah. <clears throat> Such forth forthrightness. Ha ha ha, that is good. Young people should be frank. I too shall speak frankly. I have a favor to ask you. I've heard that you use the Rosaru to revive the Genesis tree. Trees in Rim Elm and in Mount Rikurora. I I'm never going to be able to get that right. We're just going to call it Mount Riku from now on. Uh, you rid those places of the accursed mists. Um, actually, there are two Genesis trees near the Byron Monastery. Will you revive them as well? Yes. Uh, I thank you both. I must tell you everyone immediately. All of you, listen. They have just agreed to revive the Genesis trees. Hooray. Hooray for Van. A toast to Noah. Once revived, the Genesis trees will rid us of the horrible mist. This is our chance. We must all help the, these brave visitors. Genesis trees are separate forests north of here in West and East Vaz. Van, tell me, which forest will you go to first? Crap. Um, I do think that this matters. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but if I'm not mistaken, something's wrong with one of the trees and we can't revive one of them. Um, I just don't remember which one it is. Um, let's see, north, east, southwest. So we'll go, yeah, I always have to do it in my head, guys. We're going to go west 
um, just because I think that there's a path that goes to the mist generator over there, kind of how when we were heading to Byron Monastery and there was a chest there, I think there's the same thing on the one that's in the west. So let's pick the west one first. West Forest, I see, yes, that forest is closer to the origin of the mist. Yeah, see, I think this is the dead one anyway, because I think it's dead because of the mist. Like, that's basically, like, that's why you can't revive it or whatever. I think. Yes, that is a wise decision. Master Teacher, Master Teacher, are you there? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Master Teacher, you will accompany these two to West Falls Forest. But, but... Master Teacher, an Elder's order is the same as a command from Byron. Y yes, sir. Master Zopu, have you forgotten me? What is it, Sanji? Is Master Teacher... If Master Teacher is going to the West Falls Forest, then I will go to East Falls Forest. I will go there to make sure the Genesis Tree is safe. Sanji, it is so unusual for you to volunteer like this, but that is good. I will give you monks to command. I'm counting on you, Sanji. Yes, sir. Now then, nightfall. Or, night has fallen. Let the party end. So if you guys haven't figured it out yet, Sanji really wants one of the Saru. Um, that's the only reason he's volunteering. He's going to try to see if the Genesis tree can help him get one. Ha ha ha, they're all fools. Once I get rid of those two brats and that macho moron... I'll get the Rosaru from the Genesis Tree in East Wells Forest, as I said. Ha ha ha. I can't stop laughing. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. May Byron bless Sanji on his journey to the East Wells Forest. Thank you. Leave everything to me. Master Byron also bless Master Mass or sorry, May Byron also bless Master Teacher on our and our two visitors on the journey to the West Falls. Van, Noah, good luck to you both. Hey, Master Teacher, can I ask you something? What? Master Teacher is a weird name. It's not a name, it's a title. So, Master Teacher, isn't your name? Then what is your name? Since you are not Byron Monks, you need not call me Master Teacher. I will tell you. My name is... My name is Gala, just like the apple. We're going to go ahead and keep his name the same. My name is Gala. Gala. That's an interesting name. Well, don't get too friendly. I hate Saru. Okay, so... Uh, Van, Noah, good luck to you both. So basically, this is what I kind of wanted. I didn't expect it to um, kind of play out this way. Um, but this works. So basically, we're going to head to the west one here. We have to say bye to May's mother here. Uh, Van, Noah, it's about Rim Elm. Last night I was thinking about May, about Juno, and about something else. I want to have a long talk with you. But now the Genesis tree is more important. Let's talk later after you come back. Well then, good luck. I'll be praying for your safe return. Cool. What? The wait is over West Coast Forest lies northwest of here. Good luck. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. We're going to turn off the fans, which lets in the mist. So, will we be able to fight anything in here? Let's give it a minute, see if we can fight in here. I would think so, since there's a really long path and the mist is clearly in here. But maybe not. Okay, so let's just go ahead and head out, I guess. This takes us back out to the map. Now we're looking for the path that goes to the uh, to the mist generator. We're going to run straight over there. Which I'm sure we'll fight stuff along the way, but that's fine. 
<clears throat> see if we can get a Vera, a Gimmerd, or a Theater. And I don't like fighting any of these because the frog can poison you and the two Lipians, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Lipians, they can do their kiss of death, which paralyzes you. And I don't know if we can do special attacks with um, with Gala without him having his um, his Rasaru just yet, but we'll try to see if we can figure one out. So let's right, right, left. Right, left. Let's get rid of the ones that will paralyze first. I'm not too worried about the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The poison, because the poison, in some games like this, poison, things like that will stay with your character. In this one, once the fight is over, the poison goes away, at least from the frogs, from what I've noticed. Um, I'm more worried about the kiss of death because it will paralyze your character. Okay, he doesn't have anything. That's just you. Left, right, left, right. And we'll, they're all going to attack the same one just to make sure at least one of these things dies. Dirt guy automatically attacks the other weapon. No, we went for the frog. Oh, but we did get an art out of it, so it doesn't look like we need the roster to do it. And he actually hit pretty decently without having a roster anyway, so that's good. Still no kiss of death. I'll kiss of death. I'll take it. I think I said kiss of death. Don't judge me, guys. No speech impediment. So, oh, okay, we got poison there. So later in the game, if you guys haven't noticed already, Noah's going to be your fastest. Van will be somewhere in the middle unless you give him like a lot of swift waters or swift amulet, things like that. And then Gala is always going to be your slowest. You can technically change that up if you want. Um, that is completely up to you guys how you do it. Um, but if you give like all your swift waters and everything to Gala, obviously it will make him faster. He does have... Um, the chance of being, you know, more uh, speedy than the other ones if you're giving him nothing but the speed stuff. Um, same thing with Noah. I think technically she is the weakest character um, attack-wise, <clears throat> which is why she starts with such a high bar, just so she does stay up there with Noah and Van. Um, or not Noah, uh, with Gala and Van. But I think if you give her, like, all the power stuff, the power amulet, the, um, the power water any type of elixir stuff like that um, then she'll be up there with them it just depends on how you guys want to play um, obviously if you guys want them all to be balanced that might be something you want to do but it just depends on how on your play style I mean if you guys want you can give everything to Van I mean there it doesn't tell you that you can't do that you can make him the strongest character out of all three of them but keep in mind if for some reason if he ends up dying then you're basically screwing yourself over because you'll have only two weak characters um, and then Gala is basically your main defensive guy. He's slow, but he has really good defense. So he, I think, eventually will probably have the most health out of all three of them. Unless you change that too. Like I said, you can still do that um, with Noah because she is the weakest. You can probably try to keep her alive longer um, so that she can do more attacks. Um, you also might want to give her all of the... Uh, all of the things that increases magic, because if she's doing such weak damage with her regular attacks, then her magic will end up being, you know, her, her magic might end up being something that you want to increase versus the other two. So, just depends on your playstyle, guys. Yeah. 
And then I didn't notice that. What is, um, what's Gala's level? He basically stays in your party from here on out. He's only level one. Really? I did not think he would start at level one. I think he levels faster too, though. We'll, we'll see. So this is what I was talking about here. There should be a chest that we can get an item from. The mist is still going to be too thick to go this way. But there should be a chest somewhere here. This is the place. The mist is so thick, it's full of a warped madness and presence of evil. The presence of evil. Uh, the mist is flowing from a strange castle beyond this valley. This valley is the passageway for the mist created by the mist generator. And there's a twist to this story, guys. You'll, you'll learn it soon. Tara, can we go on ahead? I'm sorry, Noah. I know I'm a Rosaru, but I don't have the strength now. <clears throat> so basically, it's because the mist is too thick. The Rosaru will end up succumbing to the mist as well. I know. I'll find the Genesis tree and make you stronger. <clears throat> Then you could get through there with no problem. Uh huh? Who who are you talking to? To Terra. A Saru? You can talk to Saru? Uh huh. Terra's nice. She's a good Saru. You're so strange. You give the you give me the creeps, both of you. But no matter. Now on to Westfall's forest, as Zopu instructed us. Okay, I'll do my best. So there should be a chest. There's a chest. And we get an ivory book. Perfect. Don't know what the ivory book is. Let's see. Ivory book, ivory book. So it increases magic accrual. And because it's a book, I think that is a permanent thing. I don't think... Well, I mean, it says it's an accessory. Let's see here. Equip. Um, who has the lowest magic right now? Noah. Technically, Gala. But he also can't use magic yet. So we'll put it on Noah for now. There we go. Alright, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, so we're not going to go to the Vols Forest yet, the West Vols Forest yet. What I plan on doing right now is we're basically going to be running back and forth here in the mist, what I was talking about. Um, let's see here. So we have a cave if we go up here to the right. That cave you can't get through yet, but I do think there might be um, a place to rest in there if I remember correctly. We might check that out. Um, this is the West Falls Forest in the center. You'll find the uh, Genesis tree, and then you have the East Falls Forest over there, which technically we would have to go back to Byron Monastery and out the other door to do that. But what we're gonna do for the time being is we're gonna run around in this area where the mist is. We're gonna be killing high level creatures or at least our level creatures at the moment. And then anytime that we need health or mana, we're gonna run back into the Byron Monastery and we're gonna go sleep in that room where we can rest for free. So it's a really good strategy, guys. Um, just depends, like I said, you know, with everything else, it just depends on how you guys wanna play. If you guys don't wanna do this, you don't have to, but it will help you out in the long run. But thanks for joining me today, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It will definitely help you out. Or, sorry, it will definitely help out the channel. I got confused because I was looking at Gala's, uh, Gala's help there. We need to get back to that Byron Monastery as soon as possible. If he takes like two hits, he's probably going to end up dead. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. And I will end up seeing you guys in the next video.